Two 13 and 14 year old girls arrested for an armed carjacking, boys rather. This comes just days after that Uber Eats driver was killed in D.C. Those two teen girls are now facing murder charges. Fox 5's Maureen Ume is live in Southeast with more on what we're learning about the suspects. And Maureen, video of this particular carjacking went viral over the weekend. It sure did. A lot of people watching it just horrified that something like this could happen. Moreover, that two teenage girls could be behind such a heinous crime. Look behind me here. You see some of the outpouring of support that the victim has received. Flowers left here by the gate. And then if you come this way, you'll see uh, where the car actually ended up uh, knocking over this uh, bike stand here on N Street and v Van Street here in Southeast uh, D.C. Uh, again, this video of this crime just horrific to watch. We're going to show you a little portion of it, but again, just a warning. It is pretty tough. Oh my God, look at this door. She's still in their car. You still in the car? Yeah, we called the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. <laughs> The video has been viewed millions of times on Twitter alone. It shows Mohammed Anwar next to his car. The teen girls are inside, and you hear him say, this is my car. And then the driver hits the gas as Anwar clings to the door. Moments later, you hear that horrifying sound of the crash. The man filming runs there. You see members of the National Guard then helping the girls from the car. Anwar is alone on the sidewalk after he was thrown from the vehicle. You can then hear one of the girls saying, my phone is in there, as she tries to go back to the car. A D.C. police commander tells us the two teenage girls are just 13 and 15 years old. We also know that uh, at least one of them had participated in something very similar back in January where they were arrested for that as well. So um, there, it does seem like there is a, a pattern here. Our victim in this case, you know, he has a loving family that are missing him dearly. And then on the, on the other side of this, we have uh, two uh, young people that are facing very similar, uh, very serious charges, and they're not even old enough to drive. Indeed, we understand one of the suspects here has done this before, apparently was also a suspect in a carjacking back in January. As for this crime, the two of them are charged with felony murder and armed uh, carjacking. That is just the, uh, the two charges right now. More may come. As far as Mohammed Anwar goes, his family, as you understand, very grief-stricken, did not want to talk, but they did uh, issue a statement via spokesperson, and I'll read you part of that statement. It says this, although money will not fill the gaping hole that this death has left in our family, it will help remove some of the stress and worry of daily living while we grieve and heal. We cannot thank you enough. We are overwhelmed by the kindness and support that everyone has shown. The family had set up a GoFundMe page and has uh, asking for $100,000, but so far has gotten more than $700,000. That money, uh, just a small portion of the outpouring of support that this family has received, not just locally, but nationally and internationally. And again, here in the scene, I showed you the flowers earlier. You see people walking by this morning, some taking a look at it, uh, just uh, scratching their heads in disbelief that something so horrific can happen. And moreover, that two teenage girls could be behind something just so hard to fathom, really. Yeah. That's the best word for it. Hard to fathom that two teenage girls can have done this. Back and that, you. that video is just so hard to watch. Maureen, thank you. It is. And D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser is taking criticism for a tweet and videos she posted about auto theft. It said auto theft is a crime of opportunity and provided suggestions to keep your vehicle safe. Critics called the tweet insensitive, coming on the heels of Anwar's death. It has since been removed. In a statement, the mayor's office said in part, quote, we have worked to raise awareness about a troubling increase in this violent crime, related arrests and safety tips. Today's pre-scheduled social media post was part of that effort and should not detract from the tragic death of Mohammed Anwar. Well, left for